Hey everyone, this is Zach Crooks, and you are watching an unboxing of the GoPro camera. Um, I recorded this audio afterwards, so it might not sync up as well with the video as I expected it to, but just bear with me. Alright, thank you. Alright, I got a GoPro camera today, and here it is. Um, as you can see, the camera comes in this clear box with a, like a, paper thing around it with pictures on it and I'm showing here that it's HD Motorsport Hero um, the camera is extremely small like like compared to this knife which is about 10 inches long um, the camera compares nothing to it um, here's a Blackberry phone charger and as you can see that the camera is way smaller than this I mean this camera is like two and a half inches wide and about an inch and a half long so it's very small um, I'm showing the box here and I'm just showing that there's pictures on it and it says there's a 5 megapixel photos and it's automatically done um, here's a picture of Ronnie Renner uh, the video of Ronnie Renner uh, here's all the uh, attachment accessories that you get uh, it shows you all like the um, information about the camera like the audio, video quality, all that stuff, all that good stuff, and then, you know, just show the back of the camera here, and it tells you the different, uh, frame rates and resolutions, and what's best for sound quality, the non-waterproof camera, and then, or the ca waterproof door, sorry, um, and go on, okay, um, now I'm showing the Back to the box, it says GoPro.com on the bottom. I mean, that's the bottom of the box. Now I'm opening the box, and this box was extremely difficult to get off. I don't know why, so what I do is I end up just cutting it up the edge of it because I couldn't get it off. And then, as I realized that the box was glued to the other box that's on the inside of this, which is ridiculous, they really did not want you to steal this or get into it. So just give me a second here as I'm cutting the box open. Okay, now that I have the box open, I have realized that there's glue holding this outer box to the inner box. Now I'm just getting this light so you can see a little bit better. Okay, as you can see, I cut it there. Um, I'm going to try to open it up now. Get it off. There we go. All right, there we go. I got it off. Okay. Now, there's a long piece of tape along the edge and along that clear container on the top. You have to cut it with either a razor or a knife or a pair of scissors, whatever you prefer. Um, all right, as soon as you open up the box, it shows all the manuals and the... Uh, um, water in the non waterproof camera case and the battery pack um, then we have the suction cup mount uh, this thing is extremely strong I can't get it off if I tried pulling as hard as I possibly can um, the high def oh, no, USB cord high definition AV cables and the bag of uh, different mounts for helmet or sticking it to your bike or something and then your standard definition AV cable okay now that I have it off um, let's get the camera out which you have to cut around the edge again to get it to break through okay there we go we got it out now um, as you can see it's inside the case right now and it's it's pretty cool how it like moves on the pivot point and it's not like a regular tripod so it's not easy to fall off as you can see compared to my hand it's pretty small it's smaller than my palm or as big as my palm is um when you get it it's connected to a base which is pretty cool i've never seen any like camera that i bought that was mounted like that where all right 
seat watch. You just it's like a helmet buckle, really, like a bicycle helmet buckle. It's pretty sturdy though. There's no way it's gonna accidentally come off on you, which is very good. The only way it's probably gonna come off is if you uh, fall on your head or something, or if you have it on your helmet and break it off by hitting like a branch or something or the ground. All right, so here we have the camera, and I'm taking it out of the case, which is on the the release is on the top. It takes me a second to figure it out. All right, you have to pull it back and then forward, and then just drop the door. And here's the little camera, extremely tiny. Um, you got the. It looks like to be the high definition AV plug right there on the top. Um, your USB plug, and then your standard definition on the bottom. Um, I don't believe I show this in the video, but on the front of the camera, oh, I do right there is the power button and the mode select button and then on the top is the record button and on the back is the battery pack it charges via USB into your computer and for it to charge a hundred percent it says it takes up to four hours and it takes up to a 32 gigabyte uh, SDHC uh, memory stick um, in this video, I'm only using a one gigabyte SD card, so I mean it is an HD. It's, we'll see how it turns out when I put it on YouTube after they compress it. But on my computer, if you guys have ever watched HD TV or a Blu-ray movie, it's pretty much that quality. So it is pretty amazing. Uh, this is the Zach Crooks. I have a little bit of a clip here to show you. Uh, thank you for watching and have a Thank <laughs> you.